What is going on, guys? I am here underneath the world of Vera because I glitched through and just haven't teleported back out yet. But today we're going to be some doing some exploring, maybe doing some dungeons. That might not be in this video. We'll see. I might do a separate video on that. But we're going to do some basic questing in the tropical area. Look at these tent poles just sticking through the ground like that. That They really dug deep to make sure those tents don't blow away. Pretty snazzy work going on here. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna do all of that. I'm playing my level seven dwarf mage here, and we're gonna explore this world and see what's going on in it. But before we get into that, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment because it helps the video a long way to get viewed from everybody looking for Ashes of Creation content right now. It helps the channel blow up and it's really going to help me out. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. It'll do me a huge boost. But anyways, we're going to teleport. We're going to load. We're still loading. Hey, I'm in the same spot. Please don't lose this character underground. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. 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 <laughs> No, there's so much work went into him. No. Get me out of here. No. Can I get out of here somehow? I see some rocks over there. Um. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Let's see if I can get above ground. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Right here. Look at the edge of the world. We can do it. Come on. Come on, B. Yeah! Uh oh. Ah. Get him out. Get him out. Where am I? Oh, is this my secret mining spot that I once had? It might be. What level are you? I think all the ores are gone. Let's take a look. I don't really know how to make my keyboard sound go away on this mic, so sorry guys. What the hell was that sound? I don't know if this was it. So I had a spot in the earlier days of testing where there's like unlimited ore. No, it's over here. Okay, I'm not even at it. Unlimited ore just kind of popped up that I'm going to go find later because I want to do some crafting. But this isn't it. So let's go. We're going to go find some flowers. For this dude at this camp over here that was I was underground at. And see what exactly he has to offer for me. Hopefully something. Hopefully. Anyways, so I'm gonna talk a bit about the game itself. I've really enjoyed it. Again, I've played this a lot already in the NDA tests and all of that. But it just doesn't get old. I love jumping in and going through and doing the quests. The mage is, I feel like, the most well put together class right now in the game. So if you're not enjoying the cleric or the tank for whatever reason, I'd recommend trying out the mage. They're pretty, they're actually a lot of fun. I enjoy them a lot. I don't know if I'll play a mage in the final game. I really want to, I know, I got to see the rest of the classes, which we won't see that until like alpha two, beta one, that time. I just want to be a bard. It's really all I want. Maybe a bard mage. Bard mage combo. Alright, somewhere over here. Maybe it's this big glowing tree. Aha! <coughs> ah, 
gross. Flower one acquired. On to flower two. Hello, little dinosaur dude. Hello. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Look at him run. Look at that. Look at that little run he's got going on there. That's so cute. I like how his like hands kind of like tuck underneath him and he's going, Aah! Anyways, to the flat. Oh, more raptors. And a tree. Gotta cut down the tree. Where'd my horse go? Bye, horse. It's just like New World, cutting down trees. <coughs> Except not. This game's better. And it's an alpha. And there's already a lot more creature design and all of that. Not to hate on New World. I'm going to play a lot of New World. But we all know who's going to remain victorious someday. Some night. They got to make it all right, but not right now. And I know you're wondering when. Ah, where are you? Right there. Find right there. And now let's mount back up. I gotta get a cooler mount. Once the alpha is in full swing next week for the month long event, I'm gonna farm some gold and I'm gonna try to show you guys all of the different creatures. They're not, that's not what I meant. I'm gonna try and show you guys all of the mounts compared to their concept art so you can see how well the dev team and the art team and the design team do with implementing concept art into the game. Because they do a fantastic job. They really do. And like, this world looks amazing. Like, I have seen not a lot of negative comments on this. Even with it being in alpha. And I mean, it had like 200 something... 200 and something... It had like 200 and something viewers on Twitch yesterday. I mean, that was mostly because Asmongold had like 115 of them. But... Still... A lot of people had eyes on this yesterday. Great stuff. It's going to really shape out to be a fantastic game at some point. I mean, it's a fantastic game now, but like the final version is going to blow this part out of the water and it's going to be amazing. Oh, uh, hi, totally normal flowers. You're not normal. You're not flowers either. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Hello, flower. There you are. And like the questing, it's there is a quite a huge variety of questing in it, and I'm really enjoying it. It's not just go kill six of these and gather five of these. It really has you set out and explore the world and do various things. There's some quests with jumping puzzles. Unfortunately, I gotta go make a new character at some point during the next week and show you my favorite quest line because my recording bugged out on it. But it was a lot, it wasn't even that, like, out there of a quest. It was just, like, go and find these altars that required these small little jumping puzzles. And it really kind of gave me a little Guild Wars 2 vibe. Not as challenging as some of the Guild Wars 2 jumping puzzles, but it's pretty cool. And I hope there's a lot more things like that in the final version of the game. Could these mushrooms. Gorgeous mushrooms and some beach strolls. I don't remember seeing this area before. I'm going to run through it anyways, because what I need is over here. Over here. Inside. Um, up there. Find my flower. Hopefully get a dungeon done tonight. I'm going to hunt for a dungeon crew. If you're playing this and you want to do a dungeon tonight, tomorrow, next week, anytime during Alpha 1, follow me on Twitter and let me know at CRichieSH. I think that's my Twitter. Oh, wrong way. Because I need a dungeon crew. You can all join my guild of Pathogen. A little shout out to my old, old, old guild back in like 2010 in World of Warcraft. You know? It wasn't my guild. I was part of the guild and then the guild disbanded. But I really enjoy the name now. 
I didn't really care for the name back then because I was like, I don't know how old I was, 16, 17, somewhere around there. And I'm like, ooh, what's a pathogen? Is that like a germ? But now I like it. But like, I can't wait to see a lot more of the world itself too. Because, ooh, there you are. Like the biomes, we don't have a lot of biomes. The snowy mounds are my favorite part of this so far and there's not a lot to them. Like it's just a starting area and I wanna see a lot more snowy mounds. Gives me my real dwarven, dwarven feel, you know, living in the snowy mountains, like up in Iron Forge. Digging holes in the ground, making some armor, riding goats around, you know, all that cool stuff. Open field over here. Throwing me off. Let's grab this last flower right up here. And then we'll see what's next. Hello, lizards, scale runners. Lizard runners. Um, right there. Eh. Also, like, how are you not in my line of sight? You're right there. There we go. 100 XP. Alright, now what do you want me to do? Return to Wayfarer Piro. Tet, Piro Tet, I don't know. Over here, that red dot right there. Right next to the ferry. And I really like the mount abilities too. You can see like right now there's only sprint, but you can tell there's gonna be more than just sprint on a mount and be able to do various things. Some mounts will be able to do combat things too, which will be pretty cool. Like there's like a skill tree or abilities for everything. Like look at the guild. There's guild abilities in here that you can upgrade, like increase health regen of all guild members, increase harvesting speed of all guild members, plus all of these that I can't see what they are yet. Then you have like logistics and glory trees. I don't really know what those are yet, but it's gonna be pretty cool. It's really in-depth systems with everything in this game, especially crafting. The artisan system is amazing. Even though it's not implemented into the alpha, what it's going to be is going to be amazing. With all the different tiers and trees and things that you can create, like ship building and armor building and the animal husbandry system, being able to breed your own mounts, all sorts of things. Crafting is going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, I gotta, I gotta sell my stuff before I die, cause I got like 47 of these things. That's a lot of gold. A lot of gold. Forest. Should I go join them? Um. Let's turn in this quest first, see if they're still looking. And then I'll go fight this guy. Is he the one underground? I don't have that quest yet, though. Actually, I want to go check out, like, I wonder if this is an underwater dungeon right there. That's what I really want to know. And is it in-game yet? That's what I really want to know. Siege sign-up has started. I think that's a bug. It showed up before. I'm not level 12, so where am I turning this in? That girl over there. Nope. Return to Wayfarer Pirate. Mm, 
Do, do, there you are right there, flower guy. I found these plants. Something is still missing, what would it be? It needs a centerpiece. Ah, so the centerpiece part is bugged. <laughs> 